this from foreign policy. The U.S. informed Arab governments it will support a U.N. Security Council statement reaffirming that the 15-nation body, quote, does not accept the legitimacy of continued Israeli settlement activity. A move, of course, aimed at avoiding the prospect of having to veto a stronger Palestinian resolution calling the settlements illegal. No, we've never vetoed any resolutions coming to the U.N. Council, have we? Of course we have. So the Arabs, the Islamists, the jihadis, they see more weakness when it comes to the United States and Israel. The president says over and over again, it's not up to us to decide what the Egyptians do or this or that. But apparently the president of the United States is the minister of public housing for the state of Israel. He's the minister of pu- He's their equivalent of a HUD secretary. The president of the United States want to, wants to be able to approve whether any more apartment units can be built in the West Bank. Pretty damn stunning, don't you think? A message to my Jewish brothers and sisters. I'm obviously Jewish. The liberal ones out there who can't control themselves. Are you awake yet or not? And I'm sure in New York, your wonderful senior citizen, uh, yeah, senior citizen, senior senator, Charles Chucky Schmucky Schumer, I'm sure he'll be at the microphone denouncing this. Oh, he's not? Huh. Where's our friend, uh, Anthony Little Wiener? Is he at the microphone? Probably, but who knows? The President of the United States is going to throw Israel overboard at the U.N. Security Council in the next few days. I thought you'd want to know.